Tonight's scheduled episode of Something in the Air has been moved to tomorrow night so that we can bring you an ABC News and Current Affairs special. The first strike against terrorism as a missile barrage lands on Afghanistan. We will not falter and we will not fail. Peace and freedom will prevail. The Taliban claims Osama bin Laden was unhurt in the raids and the world waits for the next move. Good evening, I'm Kerry O'Brien. And I'm Tony Eastley. Welcome to this ABC News and Current Affairs special with extended coverage of the first strike by the United States and Britain against those accused of carrying out the September 11 terrorist attacks in New York and Washington. In the next two hours, we'll cross to our correspondents in Afghanistan, Pakistan, Washington, London and the Middle East, as well as hear from central players in this drama and other experts. We'll also look at Australia's reactions in the first days of an election campaign, and we'll take you back to your own states for a look at major local stories. It was an attack the world was anticipating. The United States had always warned the events of September 11 would not go unanswered. Unleashing its wrath, America, with the help from Britain, has struck at Taliban targets and terrorist training camps across Afghanistan. With the latest, the ABC's Craig McMurtry reports from Washington. Explosions over Kabul, over Kandahar, over Jalalabad. The call to arms from the U.S. Commander-in-Chief in the Treaty Room at the White House. The battle is now joined on many fronts. We will not waver. We will not tire. We will not falter. And we will not fail. Fifteen bombers, including B-2s, on a round trip from an airbase in Missouri. Twenty-five strike aircraft and Tomahawk cruise missiles launched from warships and submarines in the Arabian Sea. We are joined in this operation by our staunch friend, Great Britain. Other close friends, including Canada, Australia, Germany and France, have pledged forces as the operation unfolds. The first targets, command posts, airports, terrorist training camps, Taliban air defenses. It is important to go after air defense and Taliban aircraft. We need the freedom to operate on the ground and in the air, and the targets selected if selective, successfully destroyed, should permit an increasing de degree of freedom over time. Two hours after the first wave of airstrikes, C-17 aircraft began dropping thousands of emergency food rations, medicine and leaflets explaining the purpose of the airstrikes. To say that these attacks are in any way against Afghanistan or the Afghan people is flat wrong. News of the attack brought baseball and football games to a standstill across America. Through the night with the light. Fearing a terrorist reply, the FBI has put America's national threat warning system on its highest alert. Security across all major U.S. cities is already at unprecedented levels. I think everybody's nervous. They can't protect everything. That's, that's my only concern. Uh, I believe there will be. There's going to be attempts, unfortunately. Ports, nuclear power plants and government buildings are all being guarded more closely. Here in Washington, the State Department was sealed off and the U.S. Vice President was taken to a secure location away from the White House. And all the indications are it's just the beginning. The administration says the next few days will look very much like this first attack. To all the men and women in our military, your mission is defined. Your objectives are clear. Your goal is just. Craig McMurtry, ABC News, Washington.